guys, this is Raven with the Regal Reptile, and today we're going to turn an empty cage into a full cage. Newton finally got his upgrade, and we're going to talk about how this happened. First, there are some preliminaries that we have to deal with, like um, the hardware stuff and the holes and things. So we're going to talk about that. Um, we got bedding, we got his old decor, which is the water bowl and the, um, hide from his sad little tub, and we have some just fake plants there that he can crawl underneath. We also have a heat mat that's underneath the cage. I'll point out that I use some pieces of plywood for, um, to raise up the cage a little bit for the heat tape to have some airflow and also we used this double-sided tape for sticking things onto the cages and stuff so we'll start off with an empty cage and i will tell you how i transformed it so i finally finished all the hardware stuff with this snake cage our doors all working all these beams in here, they're dry locked. Our little vents are in here. They're nice and stuck and they're not going anywhere. I have holes drilled for electronics. I'm ready. Oh, and I even have a hole drilled back here for the probe for the um, heat mat and or, um, oh goodness, radiant heat panel. I don't have a, any lights yet, but I will. So we can get started on getting this thing put together for our ball python. And he really needs an upgrade, let me tell you. So the first thing that was recommended to me for substrate was rep to chip. So let's put that in there. Yay. Okay, now let's get the snake. Perfect. I was joking. This is kind of like the um, coconut fiber that you find in big bricks. This is just a very big brick. And we're actually going to put it inside this bin. And we're going to put super hot water um, on it. And then we're going to seal the bin while the water seeps into it and breaks it apart. Now this is to help prevent anything that might be shipped with this. Um, if there's any, there, there's probably not... But if there's any mites or anything like that in this in this package, we want to make sure we kill them. It's probably safe, but if you want to be um, if you want to be paranoid like me, you can. I've already had grain mites um, as an issue uh, with something else, so we're just gonna do it that way. So here we go. Seal the container just like that. Now we're just gonna let it chill over there next to the actual cage and come back to it later. See, after a while of soaking in the water, this thing gets very large and starts to fall apart. So we can help with that process. It pretty much just soaked up all that water. All the water's gone. All the water's gone. That's crazy. And it's made it all the way up to the top. And this is what the Repti chip looks like. I was advised um, by a couple of people that the really smooth cocoa fiber, um, like that's in the uh, crusty gecko enclosure the smooth stuff can actually get into the snake's mouth and into their um heat sensing pores or uh heat 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 pits excuse me 
or heat pours, yeah, and uh, can can cause problems with that. So that's why we picked Reptichip. It's really big, bigger pieces, and I think I think this is gonna fill that space very well. So we'll keep <laughs> chipping away at it, and then we'll put it inside the enclosure. Okay, so now that we have our bark and everything starting to break apart and stuff, I'm going to take some of these little um, pieces of wood, really thin, and I'm going to put them on the edges underneath this cage because for now we're going to put a heat pad underneath the cage and we do not want the heat pad to be completely sandwiched between this um, wooden storage container and the cage. We need some airflow, so that's what I'm about to do. So now I have a piece of heat tape and it's all connected, as you can see. And it is connected to a nice plug. And we're going to fixate that onto the bottom of our new cage with little pieces of this double-sided tape I got. But something super important, if you're going to use heat tape for your cages, you desperately need some kind of way to regulate the temperature, and this is a thermostat and what happens is you plug in your heat tape into the outlet here um, and then you plug this you actually plug this thing into the wall here so these things go together there's another thing that comes with this um, thermostat and that is this handy dandy probe and suction cup and what the probe does is it will tell the heat mat, or it will tell this when to regulate the power. So if, if you can set it for whatever um, for whatever temperature you want, I think I have mine at like 82 or something like that. And when this probe hits 82 um, or higher, it will shut off power to this, which will shut off power to the heat tape. So you can use heat tape. It's a nice cheap alternative to buying like the reptile brand actual heat mats from the pet store. But you definitely need a thermostat. So let's put that probe in the back of the cage in my pre-drilled hole. Anyway, we're going to put that there for now and we'll fixate it in just a minute. But first, we're going to put the um, actual heat tape on the cage on the bottom. Actually, just considered it might be easier to put the heat tape on the side or on the bottom of this if it was on its side. So we're going to do that. back the way it should be and now the heat tape is on the bottom and the cord is sticking out the back and now we just have to fixate the little uh, probe. So, we're going to take that right there. That way our probe will stay where we want it to stay. And now we can put the substrate into the cage. Yeah, we're going to go do that.
All right, so we have a nice, what I think is a pretty deep layer, not super deep, but deep enough layer of substrate, and there's our rock. And as you can see, I have a whole lot left over, which is kind of crazy. I guess this will be my reptichip tub. I'll just keep it in here. Um, so now we will plug our heat pad into our thermostat and plug it all in the back. I tried to give myself enough of a gap to work back here a little bit on cord and stuff, but honestly, I might drag everything a little bit forward. All right, so what I did was I taped this to the, um, the actual readout. I taped it to the side of the cage so I can see what the probe is reading. I can also tell whether the thing is heating or not, and it is. The light is on for it to be heating, and the power is on that the whole device is powered. It only says it's 70... Five degrees so that uh, heat tape will heat up until it's a good um, 80 82 degrees and then it'll turn off this is what it looks like all closed <laughs> you can see the tripod so the last step is to put the snake in there off-center so this space is all for the snake to be nice and dark and hidden inside of his hide. For now he's gonna have this one hide and this these foliage things to hide in. He's got a water bowl, he's got his heat mat, he's got some nice substrate and he has a whole lot more room and soon I will be upgrading part of this cage. I'll get some light in here um, so he'll have a proper day night cycle. We will have a radiant heat panel up at the top and uh, all kinds of good stuff. But for now, this is far better than his tub. Now ball pythons can be prone to hunger strikes if they're stressed. This week coming up is his week for getting fed, so we'll see if he will eat. I will be very proud of him if he does. He is a rescue ball python, and he's actually been um, he's actually been rehomed to me. So he went from a, a normal aquarium to a um, to the tub. And he never stopped eating for me. He was always excellent eating and shedding and everything like that. So I'm, I'm not expecting him to go on a hunger strike, but he may and he may not. But either or, I will let y'all know what happens. There we have it. Our very first cage that we built with our animal inside. I'm so excited, guys. This is what I wanted to do for so long. Yeah. Thank y'all for joining me. And uh, hopefully we'll get the corn snake in her cage soon and I'll actually start doing some uh, recording of the um, building of the corn snake's regal reptile background. Have a, If you guys like this kind of video, uh, showing how I build things, how I do things uh, to get stuff ready for reptiles, um, that kind of process uh, you can let me know by hitting that like button on the video you can also subscribe to become part of the regal family if you have any questions or comments you can leave them in the comment section below and let me know what other animals in my collection you want to see more of I know Kelvin wants everyone to see more of him he's trying to escape and um, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day see y'all